morning. It's about 5.15. I still got about 20 minutes to drive up to the trailhead. I just pulled off the highway late last night and camped in the back of the truck. Got about five hours of sleep. Let's rock. Uh-oh. So this is as far as we go in the truck. Surprisingly, there's tons of people here. Well, last minute I decided to switch boots. I just hate spending all day in these snowboarding boots and wanted to start out in something a little more comfortable on the trail. Starting out on the road here. <sighs> Gotta get warmed up. <sighs> Legs are tight. Seven o'clock and I just left the truck. I got about three quarters of a mile to walk up before I get to the actual trailhead. So my little gypsy here is measuring 3,700 feet where I parked. And this altimeter watch that I have was measuring 2,900 feet. I'm thinking that it's gonna be a pretty difficult day and I'm out of shape, so I'm probably not gonna summit, but I at least wanna snowboard down from around Colfax Peak. And that way I'll get up above Glacier View and it's just so nice. It's a great day and it's gonna be some good views. Well, it's been 30 minutes and I made it to the trailhead. I'm about to head off into the woods here and see how far I make it before I wanna put my split on. Decent mat. So here I am on Heliotrope Ridge. I'm gonna follow the trailhead all the way to Glacier View then head straight up the snowfield around Colfax Peak to the Roman Wall, straight up to the big dish over to the true summit of Mount Baker. It's a little early in the year, huh? There is a nice hard skin slash boot track, so I'll be able to go quite a bit further in these leathers. Let's get some music going, huh? Sun's gonna be a factor today. I'm already hot. Other boots in a tree down there. That's what it's all about. It's been two hours and 40 minutes. I just crossed 5,500 feet. So I'm just within a vertical mile of the summit now. This hill is a little steep, so I'm gonna carry my split board up just a couple hundred feet. Put it back on at the top. So this is the big plain before getting up into a more active crevasse zone. And I'm gonna take a little break. Espresso love, baby. I'm whooped already. So I got a little crevasse action right here. Cross over the crack 
pretty solid though. It's Colfax Peak. Once I go up this hill, I'll be hitting the Roman Wall. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a snowboard mode and throw it on my bag. Man, I just wasn't talking much in the way up because I felt like a dog turd. I'm a little better now. So I'm strapped up, ready to ride down after seven and a half hours. It's been a long day. Still got a long way to go. But, did it. So I'm at a baker in May. It's hard to do a field like this in one shot whenever your legs are jelly. Well, let's finish up the Roman wall. Boss is right there like a dummy. But I lived. I'll do my best to stay on the beaten path as I ride down so I don't fall into a little hole and die. <laughs> Okay. 
that's how the cookie crumbles. I think I can go off anywhere here. This is steep, bro. Look at these crazy, crazy sun. I'm surprised this tent is still here, but I was using it as a marker to find this little ravine to jump into. Now that the sun's over top, I've got a better view of Baker and the glacier field over there. All right, my shoes are right down there in that tree. I'm still gonna have to walk back and it'll probably take me about another hour and a half, but time-wise, we're doing pretty good, I'd say. Not bad for a meat boy. All right, I just rode down and found the tree that 
I stashed my boots in. It took me all of 20 minutes to ride down 5,500 feet from the summit down to the, the trail. So there's a lot of people out there and I would say the majority were on skis. A lot of people heading in right now to go camp for the night and head for the summit tomorrow morning. I would like to know how many people out of all the ones that come out here do the whole push in one day like Big Daddy over here. <laughs> tell you what shoddy, I can't even begin to tell you how much better I feel than I did earlier when I was up on the Roman wall. I was gassed out. You know, I just, just hit a wall. A Roman one. We move it. She tightened up on me. Just about back to the roadway now. Hey, hey, what's up, man? Get it. finished that in nine hours and 20 minutes not bad it was really nice to knock out Baker this early in the year you know other than getting gassed and really having the low point that lasted about 30 minutes today went great very straightforward it's nice having my GPS so I knew exactly where to go crevasse danger was minimal and the riding was pretty good so it was a little much to leave Portland late yesterday then not get to the trail until 11 and only get about five hours of sleep and then hike for nine hours just to make a return drive but I should be there by 10 so we had a full night's sleep tonight that's for damn sure just can't wait to get home and cuddle with my kitty because damn she's sweet anyway see you next time